Beautiful, don't you think? What? The sunrise. Terrific. Finally, after many delays, the Hubble telescope was launched on April 24, 1990. In 1997, Congress approved the funding of the Hubble telescope and almost immediately, NASA and other contractors began working on the preparation for the Hubble telescope. Edwin Hubble was an American astronomer in the early 1900s who managed to formulate Hubble's law through various observations. Herman Oberth was a physicist and mathematician who patented one of the first designs for rockets. He understood that there had to be multiple stages in the flight for a rocket to make it into space. Lehman Spitzer Jr. was one of the 20th century's great scientists who was a renowned astrophysicist and was one of the first people to propose the idea of putting a giant telescope into space. Hubble has discovered many things in his two decades in space. With Hubble's observations of several stars and their current movement, we were able to somewhat accurately predict that the universe is currently 13.7 billion years old. With Hubble's very powerful lenses, we have discovered many new planets and nebulas, such as the Pillars of Creation and the Eagle Nebula, around 7,000 light years away from Earth. In 2003, the Hubble mission was disbanded because the Space Shuttle Columbia broke apart while re-entering Earth's atmosphere, so new safety guidelines were admitted. But it was later announced that Hubble would go back into action, and in 2009 astronauts went into space and upgraded Hubble so that it met the new safety guidelines and its equipment was improved. The astronauts brought in new batteries and a new fine guidance sensor, as well as repairing other equipment. One of the last things the astronauts added was a ring-like structure around Hubble to allow a small module to connect itself to the telescope and help in its deorbit. Eventually though, Hubble will come back down to Earth. It is expected that the tools on the telescope will degrade to the point where they are no longer working, and Hubble will be orbiting Earth until gravity drags it down. The robotic module attached to the telescope will guide it to the ocean as Hubble falls. Unfortunately, Hubble will not be displayed in museums because it will be destroyed in the plunge, but all of its amazing discoveries will live on as its legacy. Another discovery by the Hubble telescope is that centers of galaxies are supermassive black holes. It has gone and found that some galaxies are colliding with each other and others are orbiting each other. Through observations, the Hubble telescope has also shown that the formation of galaxies are closely related to the formation of the black holes themselves. T-minus 10, go for main engine start. We are go for main engine start, T-minus 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. Mission Control Houston. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. The roll maneuver puts the vehicle in the proper launch plane. Guidance officer confirms a good roll maneuver. Engines now throttling back. The throttle down maneuver assists in reducing the aerodynamic loads on Discovery as it passes through the area of not maximum dynamic pressure.